Welcome to another chemistry video of mine. Now we're going to be looking at nucleophilic addition reactions for aldehyde and ketones. Now in this specific reactions, we're going to be looking at the example of uh, the ethanol reacting with the hydrogen cyanide with the presence of KCN as the reagent. So there you have it. That's the reagent and the condition over there, right? The condition for this reaction is basically the 10 to 20 degrees Celsius but I'm deciding to actually write 15 degrees Celsius over that, right? So for the step one for the reaction, the uh, first step is requiring you to produce the nucleophile that's required, which is basically the cyanide ion. So since KCN is actually being in use, so what happened here is that the KCN is actually dissociating completely to give us high concentration of CN minus. So what happens next is that once you got a cyanide ion, we move on to step two, whereby you are actually required to actually draw out the aldehyde in this particular manner. Remember, focus is on the carbon, double bond O, because that's when the uh, reaction will actually be taking place. So what happened is that uh, in step two, the first thing you should do is that you must always remember to assign the delta positive and delta negative on the carbon and the oxygen. First curly arrow will be here, right, coming from your lone pair of electron from the carbon, right, which is produced from the very first step, attacking the carbon delta positive. So remember, this curly arrow is going to be required as the first curly arrow in the mechanism, right, directing the lone pair of electrons from the carbon to the carbon delta positive. So now this uh, carbon is about to form a bond with this particular carbon right here. So what happened now is that uh, carbon would have actually make five bonds, so therefore we cannot allow that, so therefore the pi bond will break. So this bond will actually be broken off, you can see both electrons is actually going to be transferred to the oxygen, right, which is labeled delta negative over there. This will actually allow you to get this particular intermediate, which is basically, you notice up here, the oxygen with a negative uh, charge over here because the, the oxygen has received an extra electron when the pi bond actually breaks. Now this is when the next step will actually start to happen here, whereby the HCN will come into the picture now and just like just now, remember, you need to assign the delta positive and delta negative first. And now we're ready for step 3, which is basically you are needing to actually use this lone pair of electron here from the oxygen, right, from the uh, what, uh, from the oxygen here to basically attacking the hydrogen delta positive. So remember, this is actually going to be taking place, right, in the third step, right, lone pair of electron attacking the hydrogen delta positive. And as you remember, hydrogen can only make one bond, so therefore the hydrogen to carbon bond will be broken as a result of it. So uh, at the end of the day, there you have it, you form your product over there, which is the cyanohydrin, and then you are also going to be getting your cyanide ion being regenerated back in this particular reaction. Right? right? That's about it. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.